Yes, it's another one of them TG Tools KIK bit reviews, but for $1.99 a set, can't beat it. Any good? We're going to find out. Hi, I'm Roger, and welcome to the shop. And what I'm going to go over here is uh, some more of these uh, KIK drill bits from uh, TG Tools. Uh, they're based in St. Charles, Illinois. Of course, the bits are made in China. I uh, was at Menards yesterday, and I saw these were, with their 11% off, were $1.99 a set. And it says 9 plus 2 pieces. I think that makes 11. Then a 5 30 seconds, 3 16 7 30 seconds, 2 of the 1 quarter. Then 9 30 seconds, 5 16 11 30 seconds, and 3 8 And they have a heck shank. I haven't opened these yet. I'm about to. Then we're going to uh, try them out on some wood and see how they are, uh, really, for $1.99 for a set. And, yeah, I bought two of them. But it says right here, it's seen on TV, so it's got to be good. One of them late night shopping channel things? I don't know. I'm going to get these opened up here and uh, take a closer look at them. If you've never seen one of these, Stanley makes these, uh, Stanley Fat Max, and they're, I don't know, like three bucks. And they're great for opening up these uh, really ticky off plastic packages. So this folds out. Pop the 3 8 bit out of here. Uh, yeah, it's definitely Brad Point. Of course, these are for wood. These aren't for drilling steel. Uh, it's got a hex shaft on it so you can chuck it in your drill or I wouldn't suggest using this on an impact. That would be a really bad idea. But I'll check one of these up here and we'll see how well it works. Just happen to have a drill set in here. It's even got a charge on it. Yeah, I'll get the camera zoomed in here a little bit. Okay, what I'm curious to see here is just how well and how good of a hole this drills. Um, in wood, of course, and the reason is I need to make some more of these here. And we're wondering what that is. If you put this on a seat like this, people won't sit on it. Uh, no, seriously, though, what this is is a dibble board we use in our greenhouses, and uh, they either have uh, 50, 72, 144, or 288 dowels in them. Yeah, that's a lot of holes to drill. And I need to make a couple more of these uh, with some 3 8 dolls. These here are uh, 5 16 Need to make one size up. So we're going to uh, try this out and I'll give it a real good test here in the next few days after I drill several hundred holes. Of course it's just wood so uh, and actually the way these are made and I'll get a real close up of the end of this bit. You can sharpen these pretty easy. Breeze right through it no tear out. Of course I drilled right into a split. So far I'm happy with it. Here and uh, try it on something a little harder. I got a little piece of white oak here. Sawdust on the belly. Well, if I hadn't done that, drill right into another split, then it caught the fifth. So let's try that again. Always good to have a little excitement. Yeah, it's better. A little bit of splintering, not much. And what, actually it's not even really splintering, it's just uh, got a little bit of fuzz down in the holes that could easily be cleaned up. Uh, this one over here, of course, tore out a little bit because I got it caught in the board. But it's always nice to show that uh, not everything goes perfect here all the time. Overall, I think $1.99 for one of these sets, uh, yeah, that's worth it. So, uh, I'll try these out and uh, let me get a close up of this bit here. Try to get it focused up on the camera.
Okay, so you can see in this picture here, these would not be uh, difficult to sharpen. Uh, there are two angles there, but there's nothing complicated about either one. I think if you drilled into another piece of steel like a nail or a screw or something, you're probably going to tear this up and it'd be a little hard to fix. But for the way it looks here, if you did need to sharpen it, of course for buck ninety-nine for a set, you can just buy a bunch of sets when you just don't throw it away. Yeah. But uh, I said they'd be easy to sharpen, even just dress with a stone a little bit. So that's my uh, quick review of the TG Tools KIK Brad Point bit set. Um, hope you got a little bit of something out of it. Uh, maybe you could run down to your local Menards and uh, grab one for yourself, or you could save big money there. Anyway, uh, appreciate getting a thumbs up if you like this. Of course, we're always looking for subscribers. Next to that subscribe button is a bell. If you hit that bell, you'll be notified when I post another video. Otherwise, I'm Roger in the shop with my cheap TG Tools KIK bits. See you on the next one.